Facades. Other than being a pretty cool name and a really fun looking license plate, what are facades and how do you use them in Laravel? No matter where you look on the Laravel documentation, you're bound to run into the word facade. But what are facades? Well, facades give you a static interface to the classes that are available within the application service container so that you have direct access to Laravel's features. So instead of using traditional static methods, which lack a little bit of flexibility when it comes to things like testing or dependency injection, Laravel's facades serve as a static proxy to those underlying class methods, allowing you to have that flexibility of, of testing or dependency injection. And while you can definitely take some time to dig deeper into what a facade actually is, how the code works and what it does. Even Laravel says, just go with the flow and continue learning about Laravel if you don't totally understand how facades work. While there's a ton of different facades that you'll likely use and work with within your Laravel application, for example, route is a static proxy to the class route, which extends this facade helper. But the majority of facades also have helper functions to use instead of the full static proxy facade. For example, if we want to return a view, we could use this helper function of view, which in that sense is a globally available helper function that just references the view facade. So if I wanted to say view make, it would be the same as if I was doing this. One neat difference, however, is that helper functions are globally available. So we actually don't have to import any classes in order to use them. So if you were to take a look at this cache facade here, which we're importing and bringing in here, you would expect that this cache facade then has a git method on that class. Well, there is no git method. Instead, this class of cache extends the facade class, which is an abstract class within Laravel. So since no git method is available and we're using that abstracted class, Laravel then resolves the cache binding in that git facade accessor from this service container and then runs the requested method, in this case, that git that we have here. So there's no practical difference between a facade and a helper function in the sense that it accomplishes the exact same thing you would expect. Facades just provide a more memorable syntax so that way you don't have to spend time memorizing a bunch of different long class or method names that you then have to worry about manually configuring and injecting into the class that you want. Instead, you just have this facade ready to go. And as long as it's imported, in this case, this cookie and by the way, how great is this class name? Any facade within Laravel starts with extending that facade class and then just returning that git facade accessor. So you can create your own facades depending on the use cases that you have within your application. Just like the documentation says, you don't need to know every single detail of how facades and even helper functions work to enjoy the terse and memorable syntax to access these functions that Laravel provides for you out of the box. So instead of having to worry about setting up testing or manual dependency injection within your methods, you can just use facades.